Across the world, cooking forms a central part of the fabric of life. In Africa, millions still cook their daily meals with either wood burned on an open fire or charcoal burned in simple metal stoves. In many parts of East Africa, trees continue to be cleared rapidly, not only for agricultural expansion and timber, but also for wood fuel. Without replenishment, the cumulative effect means loss of millions of trees. The lower income groups mainly depend on kerosene, wood and charcoal as the fuel mix for cooking. On aggregate, it has been established that one third of this group's income goes to energy expenses. This documentary focuses on the investment opportunity for financiers that exists as a result of these inefficient cooking practices. Indeed, there is now a vibrant industry developing various improved cookstove designs that increase efficiency and allow people to make significant savings on their weekly budget. Not only do improved stoves reduce expenses, they can also reduce exposure to harmful gases and smoke, a major cause of respiratory disease amongst women and children. We call them improved cookstoves. It's because in terms of fuel usage, they usually use less fuel as compared to the conventional stoves. We have what we call the three stone fireplace which is traditionally used in the entire East Africa for cooking, particularly in the rural areas. We have also the conventional stoves for charcoal. There are several types of improved cook stoves varying in use and cost. However, the overall concept is based on saving the fuel used. John Miner, based in Nakuru, Kenya, is an energy entrepreneur who also fabricates and distributes improved cook stoves. It's a very efficient stove. It's able to cut your firewood consumption by up to 50%. So if you're using 2 kilos every day, using this stove, you end up using like a kilo or three quarters of a kilogram of firewood every day. With the improved cook stove, John's customers are enjoying cooking at a lower cost than when they use the traditional cook stoves. The improved cook stove has made a great impact on their lives. I came to Watondia in 1980 and there has been a shortage of firewood since there is no forest. We either buy or borrow firewood and we use a lot of it because of the kind of jikos that we use. These kind of jikos take a long time to cook food that sometimes our children get to school late. After buying, she installed her own improved cook stove for just under 25 US dollars. Local materials such as sand, stones and ashes were purchased to install the stove. I no longer buy firewood since I require just a little which I can just collect along my way. They have also helped me because we constructed too so I am able to cook different types of food at the same time like I can cook ugali in one and stew on the other. My children are also happy. It is not just firewood burning but also charcoal based improved stoves that have been developed. One of the leading charcoal stoves, the Kenya Ceramic Jiko, has sold over 1 million units in East Africa. Let us look at some more examples. This is the Kunimbili stove. And this stove is a dual purpose in the sense that you can use both firewood and charcoal. To use it as a grate, a ceramic grate, two pieces. And when you want to use firewood, you remove and you have your firewood at the base there and your pot at the top. And when you want to use charcoal, because in many homes you find that uh, at some point within that particular home they're using uh, charcoal for making certain kinds of food. So you put back the grate and you can put in your charcoal and you uh, cook using the stove. 
There is no doubt that users have developed loyalty to the improved designs. The large number of sales has also led to a spin-off market for spare parts to enable broken stoves to be easily repaired. This is an important dimension to the sustainability of the improved cookstove market. I use firewood in the jiko to light fire when I do not have the liner. You just put firewood in the jiko but it produces so much smoke. One of the reasons for the success of the improved cookstove is its modular nature. It is easy to put together and take apart. Basic repairs can be made on it by welders and blacksmiths from any local marketplace as long as they have had exposure of some sort. They do troubleshooting and provide maintenance when necessary. Our cookers are they're cheaper. To maintain them is also cheaper and it's also easy for people to use when they are in, in the rural areas. The people who normally buy them, they are schools and private people like the, the hotel people. Energy for cooking in large businesses and institutions is a significant expense. On the larger scale, for instance in restaurants, schools or colleges, use of new stoves to enhance efficiency have become popular. Huge savings are now being made by institutions across East Africa. Several of them report paying up to 50% less for their energy bills. They also report quicker cooking periods. One such institution is Kileleshwa Primary School in Nairobi, Kenya, which has been using an improved cookstove for over a year now. I have been in this business of cooking for the last 15 years. I prefer these jikos because they use less fuel and also allows you time to rest. Once it heats up, you just cover the food and leave it to cook. The production chain of the improved cook stoves often span long distances with several businesses involved in providing the components that make the final product. For example, our journey starts in the market town of Ranen, southwest Kenya, with a producer of ceramic liners. I went somewhere and found them making jiko liners which fascinated me since I used to mold pots earlier. I took time and went for training of the jiko liners production and started making them here locally. The word spread in the village and soon she was training those with keen interest. They are experiencing immense growth. Our market has expanded and we now have market in Rongo, Homa Bay, Kisi and Keroka. We also have clients from Mombasa who pick the liners personally from here. Paul Ogola is a key member of the Ranen based group. He believes that this business can be lucrative. However, like any other job, one has to be hardworking and patient. One of the challenges experienced is lack of equipment for fabricating the liners. When we were starting, we were running this business simultaneously with other businesses, but the Jiko liner business was more profitable. Therefore, we abandoned the other businesses and concentrated on this one, which gives us our daily bread. Paul Ogola is one among many artisans involved in improved cook stoves who represent an opportunity for financiers. Paul's group has already invested in an improved kiln that has significantly increased production. However, many artisans lack financing to increase their production. Producers of the improved cookstove components vary from the semi-industrial to the cottage industry and artisan level. Improved cookstove's customers can be found many miles from the points of production. There is definitely a demand uh, for the services that uh, SCOD is offering and the way we've organized ourselves is that um, we work with the rural people, we've made the rural people our clients part and parcel of the business as we do by making them our, 
our marketing and sales agents. The consumers of the improved cookstoves are served by a widespread and growing network of retailers. Getting people to afford those products was becoming a challenge and you'd go to an area, you market, and people are interested but they wouldn't be having all the money that you, they needed to be able to afford or to acquire the system. The business arm of SCOD is doing, a, if you like, asset leasing where you agree on terms, you deliver the products and you collect your money much later after the products have been uh, distributed to clients and clients have started using them. Uh, we are around eight people within this town. Yes, but uh, the catchment of this town is quite big if you compare to maybe other areas. So we have customers. Average per, per week I can sell around uh, around uh, 60 to maybe 120. Wherever there's a need, there exists opportunities. Many people across East Africa would appreciate reducing their spending on energy consumption. But between them and this opportunity is access to requisite finance for end users and small enterprises. If I would identify, a stove maker would identify a school which needs to have, to have stoves installed, uh, we would have a partnership with the financier. When I am contracted to do the, the stove installation, I would do it. And when I finish installing, and then the school certifies that the stoves are good and they are doing well, then I would take that uh, satisfaction note to the financier, and the financier would pay me. And then the school would be paying by installment to the financier. Despite the opportunities, Many financial institutions are yet to engage either in consumer financing or financing of improved cookstove enterprises. We find that the opportunity for house for the ICS is there, and financial institutions have tapped them, but to a small extent. And we find that if you ask the, the women who are involved in in making cookstoves, they'll always tell you tell you the challenge they're having is financing. So that means the potential is there but has not been tapped by financial institutions. Innovations such as the improved cookstoves make life easier for people who cannot afford other forms of clean energy. This product is affordable, repairable, reliable and environmentally sound. Above all, the manufacturing and marketing of these energy saving stoves provides investment opportunities while ensuring sustainable use of biomass fuels. If you are able to go into rural Kenya and fund that small business, you help improve their socio-economic standards. If they make money out of that small business that they are doing, they are able to invest the, the surplus from that business in their children's education. They are able to invest that surplus in the health of their children as well. Efficient use of energy at the domestic and institutional level is the beginning of proper environmental conservation and the entry of microfinance institutions into this industry will be an important stimulus. If you look at the area that you're operating in, uh, we're actually mostly in the fridges. And in these places, uh, most of those areas, we do not even have power, which means that uh, those people are actually able, to, they, are, they miss on so many opportunities that uh, they could have even used to improve their economic uh, livelihoods. And uh, this is where we come in. Uh, we are able to finance these people because uh, our mission is uh, we, we believe in uh, giving people financial independence irrespective of uh, their level of, uh, of income. Setting up profitable improved cookstoves enterprises is all about having the right financial partnership and promoting business entities to develop sufficient capacity to accelerate uptake. This can be a challenge, as Sophia Wamboi Kerie explains. We cannot get loans from regular banks because our, our um, income does not follow the 30 days pattern. It falls 90 days. For example, now we have repaired stores this, this holiday, the April holiday, they pay us in May. And when they pay us either 50% or a former installment, then we will not receive any other money 
until September. The rationale being that if producers and distributors can make an attractive income from the manufacture and marketing of renewable energy equipment and users are fully involved in the dissemination process, then the issue of environmental sustainability is resolved in a much more cost-effective fashion. Indeed, we have had cases of people who have different uh, financial cycles. But uh, like in our case, I think I would say we are one of the very flexible people because you're able to even till, uh, make the products uh, for the people. Because, uh, for example, you might have a, a, an activity or a business activity that like, takes time before you're able to get back uh, any returns. What we have been able to do in such cases is that uh, we can even offer a grace period. To see men and women spend more time on economically meaningful activities. To see children go to school happy after a hearty meal. To witness communities involved in building their future through work and time well spent. This is why the improved cooking stove endures as a product in East Africa. A small device making a great impact on families and a business opportunity as yet almost untapped. Indeed, financial institutions can build loan portfolios around improved cookstove technologies by funding both producers and consumers. <music>